Well, it's really fundamental to, to the techniques and the reason that uh, Bella have developed the, the FTG technique. Rocks and minerals uh, are usually described by uh, colors and textures. And as a geologist, normally we have samples to hold on to. Um, around me have some rocks which are purple, red, green, all sorts of different colors. So that's very, very easy. Um, However, of course, the problem is that most rocks that we're looking for as resource geologists are not so easy because all the easy ones are being found. So for us, it's a little bit more like trying to play a detective role. Uh, and I, I sort of liken it to a Nordic noir drama where it's all quite sort of dark. It's all quite, uh, quite difficult. And we have to use any means we can to try and detect our targets. So fortunately, um, a bit like the adversaries in some of these, uh, these Nordic noir dramas, uh, rocks and minerals do, uh, for our favour, uh, have some predictable characteristics. And, and these are really important for us. We can detect them when they're buried in the ground. And, and as Gord has just um, elaborated, it's, it's amazing how much sensitivity some of the modern techniques have and what they can tell us about um, what's going on in the subsurface. So for me, uh, density and magnetism are two of the most important properties we can use to, to help our detective work. Uh, we know that density can affect gravity fields. So by measuring uh, gravity very, very accurately, as Gord has described, with very high precision instruments, we can back out some quite inf important information on density. And that tells us quite a bit about uh, rocks and, and minerals uh, that form those rocks. So effectively, Density, which we're talking about, is a, is a very helpful diagnostic tool for, for many minerals and rocks. Uh, to, to sort of build out from that, the average density of the Earth's crust, which we all walk around on, is about 2.8 grams per cubic centimeter. So that's, that's a, a fairly sort of standard measurement. It varies uh, quite a bit, but that's, that's about average. So anything that forms a contrast to that overall average can be measured particularly if there's enough of it to warp the gravitational field uh, and create a proper gravity signal. Um, so rocks and minerals uh, form a kind of spectrum, a density spectrum, if you like, like a rainbow of densities, uh, starting very, very low and, and then moving up to quite high values. And I'm lucky enough that through my career, I've always had a slight fascination um, in collecting rocks and minerals. So I've got a few rocks and minerals to show you today uh, to exemplify some of these uh, the, the characteristics. So 